no West German go here, which is a bit of a disappointment for the crowd. But cutting right across, it's Kitova of the Soviet Union. And uh, Samalenko of the Soviet Union is the other girl in red. Samalenko just uh, for Wicher on the outside. And it's fairly steady pace, I would have thought. Nobody tearing off for Wicher half anxious to make a break, but uh, nobody really cutting loose at the moment, Brendan. I think that's a sensible tactic that Zola Bud uses. She drifts to the back of the field, and because she's got no shoes on, running in the pack's pretty difficult, so she waits at the back and drifts around on the outside and uh, takes up a better position wide on the outside. But if you look at the difference in dimensions and strength. These big, strong Eastern European girls and the tiny Zola Bud. She looks, doesn't really look at home there, but when it comes to actual running, she's uh, almost as good or as fast as any other girl in this field. Well, there you are. It's the East German girl, Irma, that holds the bend. Stereva is there, wearing 39. 785 is the tall Czechoslovakian girl. And uh, we've got Malinti, Doina Malinti, in the blue and yellow. Puicha wearing much more yellow. And it was 67.43. I said 64 seconds was required performance. Of course, take account of the fact that the last lap, or even the last 600 metres, is going to be much faster than that early uh, pace that was run for the first 200. That's a little bit slower than I thought it would be, but it suggests that uh, more than three or four of the girls fancy their chances in the last lap or so because uh, they've had heats. Some of them have run the 3,000. They've obviously not gone for any kind of record time, and yet this is a field which is probably good enough to, to break some kinds of records. But Zola's in a good position there. Kirsty just finding a decent position at the back of the field, and I think Zola's going to try and make a move now if she's still got the confidence from the other night. Stereva goes on, the 31-year-old Bulgarian girl, holds their uh, national record at uh, 10 kilometres. It just shows the spread of talent. Zolobad tucking in. The girl with the barn is Tatiana Samalankova of the Soviet Union. She's the leading Russian at the moment. Then you've got the two uh, Romanians tucked right in there, Puicha running with the blonde hair wide. And uh, there's an interested spectator watching every bit of this as Zolobad takes on the lead, 215.8 at 800 meters she knows that they were hoping for a, a sprint finish but zola bud goes away the 20 year old girl who runs for autoshop farnham and district twice the world champion at cross country has all the guts and stamina and determination that's required and she knows she's got to open up a gap and she's beginning to feel as though she's got the appetite for racing again brendan well i'm most impressed after the hard series of races that she's had she decided exactly when they went through two laps there she knew what she was going to do she took it out and whatever you, else you might say about her, you can't say anything about her determination and her courage and her commitment. Kirsty Way beginning to make a bit of a show. She's only about seven metres down on Zola Bud at the moment. But the two Russian girls beginning to go. We've got Kitova and Samalenko, who are rounding on Zola Bud at the moment. And just behind her, breathing down her neck, is uh, Doina Malinti. And these four have a short gap before Puicha. And then the third uh, Soviet girl, Irma is running wide on the outside. The Czechoslovakian girl is beginning, and uh, there was a bit of a bump there. And Kirsty was in trouble and uh, really suffered uh, a bit of a bang there and went backwards. And Zolobad has drifted back to about five, and the Soviet girl gets away. Kitova it is. A over it is that's taken over. That's it. It's the girl that we fancied at first. It's wearing 819. A Glettin over. Malinti chasing. Then Samalenko. And then Puicha. And then the Czechoslovakian girl is after her. Valtarova, but Agletinova's not going to be beaten, and really living up to the prediction that we made earlier, Agletinova has got away, it's a battle for second, which is going to be won by Kitova, and then it's Doina Malinti, then uh, it's going to be Valtarova, and then the third Russian girl, Kirsty Wade in fact, 